With AND compound inequalities, we have to look at both graphs. If they go the same direction, then we use the smaller In example one, we have five x minus six is greater than or equal to twenty-six, and three x plus one is greater than x minus nine. Add six to both sides, and we get five x is greater than or equal to thirty-two. Divide both sides by five, and we get x is greater than or equal to thirty-two fifths. On the right side, or the other side of our and inequality, we subtract one from both sides, and subtract x from both sides, and we get two x is greater than negative ten. Divide by two on both sides, and we get x is greater than negative five. If we graph the inequality, x greater than or equal to thirty-two fifths is almost at seven. We'll call it right there, thirty-two fifths, right there. And we'll call x greater than negative five somewhere right about here on the number line. If x is greater than negative five, we're going to have an open dot heading to the right here, and x greater than or equal to thirty-two fifths would be a closed dot heading to the right here. Notice that they don't overlap until they get to thirty-two fifths. So, if we wanted to find out where they overlap, it would be to the right of thirty-two fifths. So let's go ahead and graph that. The interval that the compound inequality is true is from thirty-two fifths to positive infinity. We can write that in interval notation as bracket thirty-two fifths, comma, infinity, close parenthesis. Now let's work on example two. Distributing the two, we get eight x plus eight is greater than six x plus two. Subtracting eight from both sides, we get eight x is greater than six x minus six. Subtract six x from both sides, and we get two x is greater than negative six divide by two, and we get x is greater than negative three. And on the other side of our compound inequality, subtract x from both sides, and subtract seven from both sides, we get negative two x, is less than or equal to negative four. Divide both sides by negative two, 
we get x is greater than or equal to positive 2. At this point, we can go ahead and graph our compound inequality. x greater than negative 3, we'll say is right here. It will be an open dot heading to the right. x greater than or equal to 2, we'll say is approximately here. And it will also be heading to the right, but it will be a closed dot. So, the only place where these two overlap is from 2 to positive infinity. Close dot at 2, approaching positive infinity. So my interval notation will look like this. Bracket 2, comma, infinity, close parenthesis. 